TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go on the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory. Dow Jones up 45 points, trading at 26,430. The S&P is positive by four, trading at 2,909, and the NASDAQ positive by 33. NASDAQ leading the way at 8,009. Big day for earnings as we continue earnings season. Tonight, after the bell, one of the biggest of this week for sure, Netflix. Checking in on Netflix ahead of that, quite a pop today, up 3% or $10. Pretty interesting. We had negative action yesterday, trading down to a low of 342. We're already $17 above that price level, 359.42, up 3% coming into earnings. Maybe somebody knows something, maybe not. We'll see. We'll find out right after the closing bell. Checking in on the futures. Quite a pullback when you look at where we were pre-market. Starting it off with the Dow, early, early in the day. There's your opening bell, 26,542. We're now off about 120 points from that level in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, different story, though. NASDAQ, NASDAQ holding on to most of those gains. We did have a high after 10 a.m. this morning of 76.92, about 10 points off of that level. But you can see the bounce that we just got in the last five minutes across the board with the NASDAQ spiking from 76.77, now trading 76.00. 76.83. There's your spike as well in the S&Ps, currently trading 29.14, but we were up there early in the day at about 29.20. Gold contract, quite a day to the downside. We trade lower for most of the overnight. We trade lower and extend those losses starting at 8.30 this morning. Gold trading at 12.77.36. Crude oil, 63.82. Spike lower briefly just before 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. And the euro, U.S. dollar trading a bit lower on the euro, getting a bit of dollar strength. Euro trading 112.85. In terms of what else you have happening out there, big day of earnings, as we said, United Health beating first quarter profit estimates and raising its 2019 forecast. You had Johnson & Johnson first quarter earnings dropping pretty substantially, but they are uh, the, the market liking what they have, and Bank of America shares falling despite record profit. So to jump over to those three stocks real quick, we'll start it off with United Health. There's quite a slide in a reversal. Opened at almost 240, now down almost 2.6%. And then we had Johnson & Johnson and Bank of America. Johnson & Johnson up about 2%. Bank of America down about a quarter of a percent, but was down pretty much more. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes right now, Dave White live at 2, and Larry Pezzavento live from 3 to 5 today. Have a great Tuesday.